If you've clicked on this video, I assume you are like, this video should be at another scam on the internet, because how is it possible to teach a baby to read? I hear you. That is exactly why I urge you to watch this video until the very end. I promise you will have a whole new perspective on how it is not just possible, but also easy to teach babies to read. Hi everyone, this is Grace. Welcome to my channel. You see, learning to read is a gradual process that does not happen overnight or the day your child starts school. Moreover, it is a very complex cognitive process that only human beings can do that requires multiple skills. But the good news is you can start developing the skills needed for your child to learn to read right from birth. And research shows that children who develop these foundational skills learn to read early, easily, but most importantly, enjoy the whole learning to read experience. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you six foundational skills, also known as early literacy skills or pre-reading skills that you can start developing right from when your child is little. As a mother, I focused on the exact same six skills to help my son learn to read and was able to read independently before he turned two years old. So I know it works, so let's begin. So the number one early literacy skill, which is also the most important skill that you can help your baby develop is sound awareness, otherwise known as phonemic awareness. So what is sound awareness? Well, sound awareness is helping your baby's ears tune into the sounds in the spoken language. There are 44 sounds in English. And if you are new to the sounds in English, I highly suggest you watch this video right here to learn all about the different sounds in English. So coming back to sound awareness, how can increasing your baby's sound awareness help your baby learn to read early? Well, you see, every single word, whether it is spoken or written, is made up of sounds because sounds are the smallest unit that a language is made of. That is why when babies start speaking, they don't start with words or sentences. They just start with sounds like ma, 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 da, 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 right? We all know that, but what most of us don't know is that the same holds good when it comes to learning to read. Now, what can you do to increase sound awareness in your baby? There are many ways, but a simple thing that every parent can do is pick simple three to five words every day while talking or while reading and stress on the beginning or the ending sound. Uh-oh, did you drop your milk? Or you can segment and blend words. Can we play with your Oi, toy. If you make this a habit, your baby will soon get familiar with the different sounds in the language naturally and in a very organic way. So remember, hearing is the first step in learning to read and helping your baby hear and identify sounds in the spoken language is the first step in teaching your baby to read. And now you know that you can do this very easily right from birth. Now the second early literacy skill is print motivation. Now what is print motivation? Well, print motivation is helping your child's brain associate reading with fun and happiness. But how can this help your baby learn to read early? Think about it. If you enjoy something, won't you be intrinsically motivated to do more of it simply because it fills you up with joy, excitement, and happiness? And because you enjoy doing it and want to do more of it, don't you think you will eventually get better at it? The same is true with children who enjoy books and stories in general because these children will be naturally motivated to learn to read. So how can you build print motivation? Simple, get into the habit of reading with your baby right from when they are born. If you don't know what books to read, I recently wrote a blog post on the list of must-read board books for babies. I will leave a link to it in the description below this video. Now, moving on to the next early literacy skill, which is print awareness. Now, what is print awareness? Well, print awareness is helping your baby's eyes pay attention to the written language that is all around us. And how can you do it? Simply point to print in the environment and talk about it so your child learns that those squiggles that they see are nothing but words that have meaning. Look, that's the stop sign. Use your finger to trace the text while reading so your child gets to see the word he or she hears. 
I wrote a blog post a few months ago on print awareness and it has a print awareness checklist, things that you can do to increase your child's print awareness. I will leave a link to it in the description below this video. You can check it out. Now the next early literacy skill is letter knowledge. So letter knowledge is getting your child familiar with the letters of the alphabet, which is nothing but symbols that make up the written language. So your child can eventually recognize letters by their names, sounds and shapes. So how can you build this skill? There are millions of ways to do it. The internet is filled with activities, but a simple everyday thing that you can do is to turn your kitchen or the wall in your baby's room into an alphabet center. And all you have to do is pick three to five letters a day and talk about it. This is O and O says ah. Now the next important skill is vocabulary. So what is vocabulary? Vocabulary is all about words in the language. So how does helping your baby get familiar with the words in the language help with reading? Let's say your child tries to sound out words, but then has no clue what most of the words mean. Don't you think your child might get frustrated and would not be that motivated or interested to try again? On the contrary, if your child sounds out a word and the word is familiar to your child, don't you think your child will have the confidence to continue to decode words? So having a good understanding of basic English words can make the learning to read experience really interesting and simple for your child. So how can you build your child's vocabulary? A simple thing that you can do is use real words and not shy away from using big words. I will be doing a video on how to expand your child's vocabulary soon. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so right now. And also make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on that video. Now let's move on to our last early literacy skill, which is comprehension, which is the ultimate goal of learning to read. Sometimes parents and even educators believe that comprehension comes only after a child learns to read, but it is so not true because you see, no one would be motivated to continue to do something when they cannot understand a thing of whatever they are doing, right? Similarly, if a child cannot make head or tail out of what he or she is doing, why in the world will the child be motivated to continue with that activity anyway? And that is why it is important to develop your child's comprehension skills. So what can you do? Simple. Talk about anything and everything in your child's environment, including emotions and feelings. We're going to bake a cake today. Yay! So I'm going to crack an egg. And then I'm going to whisk it. Are you ready? And when you read a book, talk about it and make associations. Remember we saw a dog like this at the store today? So those are the six early literacy skills that will empower your baby to learn to read early, easily, and most importantly, enjoy the whole learning to read experience. If you have sticked around till now, what do you think about teaching babies to read? Do you think it's possible? Would love to know your views. So comment below and leave a like or even a dislike if you think these six early literacy skills won't work. Anyway, that is all I have for you now. If you are a parent who's new to phonics but would like to teach your child to read, then be sure to check our Learn Phonics Reading Program, which is a step-by-step -step multisensorial reading program that is designed to help you teach your child to read by spending just 10 to 15 minutes a day. You can learn all about a program by clicking on the link in the description below this video. Once again, I thank you for stopping by and I thank you for watching my videos. Until next time, don't forget to be a little playful, mindful and intentional. See you soon.